Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we are entering into the last phase of this unit attitude. So in this lecture particularly we will be looking at the different types of attitude like we did see some types of attitude in the earlier lecture but more specifically we will be looking into some other types of attitude in this lecture which includes political attitude, democratic attitude and bureaucratic attitude. So it is like a very very important topic with respect to civil service mains examination because uh, at least questions come from political attitude but in the recent past we can look into we have to link both I mean all the three bureaucratic democratic and political attitude to answer from different dimensions moving on with that let's start with political attitude so political attitude is nothing but it refers to the emotional set with which an individual approaches a political issue which determines its line of conduct towards the issue see this can be taken into consider consideration of the like uh, MPs, MLAs or stuff like see what happens when uh, when, uh, uh, when, uh, when parliament is wanted to pass a law wanted to pass an act say they take into voting so during that time the whips of the respective party that is uh, like uh, who are in charge on the floor to make sure their um, MPs or MLA MPs vote in their favor or so they make sure that MPs vote for or against the against the act so that attitude by each individual actually it refers how they handle a political issue like like many many political parties opposed the revocation of article 370 so that shows their political issue approach line of conduct towards that issue but it was again passed so the central government passed that act and that is the political attitude of that members the party which supported those parties which supported that act that's their political attitude like actually it can be like um, like it can be of different types like radical liberal progressive conservative reactionary these all come under different political attitudes now how are those political attitudes formed variety of factors starting from education parents socialization personal exposure and exposure to media so these all play a vital role I mean, on the point family peers and community play a very very crucial role in transmitting your political values and ideologies like like you might vote for a party because your parents voted for them in the in the i mean this can happen during your first first time vote or second time vote like just because your parents vote for that party you can you might also vote for that party and again societal events, political campaigns which can also impact the formation of political attitudes see like such Bharat Abhiyan it impacted it, the political campaign impacted majority of the population towards cleanliness and sanitation so that is something political attitudes forms towards the benefit or even against a party or whomsoever it may be now what are the qualities of that attitude influences the moral I mean political process see it determines how individuals engage in politics like who they support which political parties they vote for those all influences those all influence the political attitude influences it that's actually qualities of political attitude it's 
typed wrongly kindly apologize for that next one is represents moral attitude yes see religion shapes our moral attitude which in turn shapes the political attitude like people develop moral attitude against living in relationships okay for example this is people develop moral attitude against living in relationship and support party which upholds that idea I mean, which is against that living relationship just because the party uh, is against that your thought and it matches with your thought you align with that party or you support that party it represents your moral thought determines the value of society like service to the needy empowering the marginalized these all are evolved through the political attitude like during covid-19 people came forward to support people by emulating their leaders that is something which can be seen that determines the value of the society enforcing ethics in politics like positive political attitudes like tolerance nationalism social service these all reinforce uh, ethics in politics moving on to the next we'll be looking into the factors affecting the political ideologies first one religion see many people cast their votes based on religious religious basis like in the backdrop backdrop of ram janmabhoomi movement people developed orientation towards a particular party due to their re- religious affiliation or their stand on religious issue that is how political ideologies get reflected next one is economic status middle class other to the capitalist system ideology whereas the poor other to the socialistic ideology because uh, if capitalism is there people um the poor people will not get much benefit but if um socialism is there poor people will get much benefit so that's how the economic state is also determines the education the political ideologies are significantly shaped by the curriculum and philosophy of the school and this can be taken into a prime example of the chinese uh, system of education which supports the communist ideology and hence they uh, think democracy is not good that can also influence next one is social media like this is very important that's a key propaganda tool which affects the people's political idea these days like uh, people these days surround with the like minded people form a group with uh, like minded people individuals and reinforce their political ideology next one is family it helps to inculcate the political ideology in their children so the, the, the political ideology attitude is learned from their family first for the by the children and then it gets changed or it stays the way how it was learned age new generation like privacy independent lifestyle liberal thoughts all focus on new age people young age people but various old generation people like show rigidity in their thoughts for example younger generation is more likely to support parties who support individuality freedom in producing employment increasing in the growth of the economy in their manifestos so that is something which is seen in the younger age but when it comes to quite older age like they vote based on religious cultural issues so that's something which impacts the political ideology next one is ethnicity like people are often moved by the political ideology which supports their ethnicity like political parties like dmk akali dal based their political ideology based on i mean ethnicity this is something uh, these are some factors which based on it impact on society so what they do that that political attitude was which we might call it see they determine the voting behavior political affiliation and formation of interest groups yes you vote for the party which support your idea you vote for that party and you form a group with your like minded people they influence public opinion shape public policy debates and drive social movements like when a group of people a huge group of people are there they can influence the public opinion 
shape public policy and even drive social movements see you should also know that um it's integral to the functioning of de- democracy because uh, it helps citizens to express their preferences and hold the officials accountable like strikes uh some signing mass signing so these all impact the society but you, you should also note that political attitudes are not static and can evolve or change over time so like op- through open dialogues critical thinking these all can provide a positive change or even evolve the political attitudes can evolve so yes with this the political attitude comes into end and we on to that we'll be doing to democratic attitude see this attitude is nothing but promoting people's participation in decision making that is very simple democratic and promoting people's participation in decision making characteristics decisions are based on popular opinion so popular opinion in the sense like again it's how the laws are passed in in the parliament or even state legislative legislative assemblies only when there is majority of the votes law gets passed otherwise it's not passed so based on majority popular opinion use of majority yes maximization of satisfaction of the largest number of people yes if it's benefit if it benefits large number of people it gets passed supported by elected representatives yes this is something even though it it benefits large number of people it must be supported by elective elected representatives to bring it in as an law otherwise it cannot be possible now what are the merits and demerits like strengthening democracy see here decision is based on majority and hence it strengthens the democratic system like framing of legislation by including civil society accountable system the authority is accountable to the public for their work in democracy like cooperative society in general for example is accountable to its members will cooperative society like a lot of societies are there which are accountable to its members transparency it promotes the characteristics of transparency in working like all stakeholders know about the action which is going to be taken or which has been taken everything so usually that transparency is there but what are the demerits delays in execution like taking everyone on board taking everyone on board for consideration which might uh, delay the execution like uh, electoral process it's a huge process which delays execution and takes time barrier and development approach like every segment of society must be considered and uh, it's very difficult to satisfy all of them like land policy pooling for infrastructure projects this is a difficult problem uh, clearance for mining activities in scheduled areas so those all occur other demerits now moving on to the next now we'll be looking to bureaucratic attitude see it refers to the attitude which precisely compiles complies with the norms rules and regulations where it actually gives less importance to public opinion and elected representatives like decisions are strictly based on law with others to all the rules and procedures lack of importance to public opinion antagonize the elected representatives see bureaucracy sense like civil servants so decisions are strictly based on law and that's another way some special circumstances occur which we must adhere to all the rules and procedures importance is not given to much public importance is not given to public opinion public opinion and it might sometime counter the opinion of the elected representative too so it might antagonize or disturb them so what are the merits like strict compliance standard operating procedures quick decision like it involves very less number of stakeholders Uh, and hence quick decision is possible like you know like um, army deployment during disaster that's uh, happening because of the quick decisions easy to fix responsibility like um, due to hierarchical nature of the decision making fixing responsibility is easy like punishment for any guilt or any mistake committed during the process 
However, there are some demerits too, like the tapi some decision are not taken on priority basis. Like it keeps on piling, piling, piling new. I mean new uh, decisions eventually keep on piling, like pending cases in courts, judicial courts. That's a demerit. Rigid outlook. They are opposed to changes in the system, which might lead to stagnation, indifference towards. common citizens this attitude shows apathy towards the co- common people as rule is supreme and it does not consider common people as supreme that is something bureaucratic attitude clearly shows up so yes guys that's it for today's lecture like political attitude bureaucratic attitude democratic attitude that's all we have seen today hope you guys understood today's lecture do watch the video like share and subscribe the channel uh, we will enter into that final lecture of this unit up in soon thank you